welcome to my very first video on my YouTube channel. I've been getting a lot of questions about what resources I'm using to help me study for this step one. As a background, I'm sitting the exam on August 17th, which is coming up way too soon. So I'm right in the thick of my studying right now. So I'm keeping my resources for this exam pretty simple. I have never really been one to use many textbooks or other resources, so I didn't want to change things up for this exam either. So without any further ado, let me go show you what I'm using to help me study for the exam. I'm using here is Pathoma and I'm using this for all the pathology. I like to watch the videos and make notes directly into this book here. The text itself can be kind of bare and especially for things like this like the histology I'm really bad at learning it and so I actually need to write directly on it to make sense of what it is and remember what it is because these all kind of look the same to me unfortunately. So for the microbiology for the exam, I decided to use Sketchy. The videos are great. It helps memorize all the minute details that you need to know for the exam. An older student in a couple of years above me made a really great document for taking notes for Sketchy. So he took a screenshot of the last image of the video and then left space underneath so you could write in directly what each picture meant. So this is what the book looks like. Um, it's got all of the Sketchy videos here. And it's nice because then I can really connect the picture to what the information is. For pharmacology, I'm using the Lang Pharmacology flashcards. I decided not to buy the actual hard copy of the flashcards and decided instead to buy the app onto my iPad because then I can just review them in my bed or outside when I'm enjoying the sunshine or something like that. And so I think it's great because it's a little more mobile. I like the app um, because I can go in, I can see exactly what the categories are, click on whichever one I want to study for the day. It gives me a nice clinical vignette. To answer, I answer it out loud and then I can read the summary at the end and I like that the summaries are really short because it doesn't take too long to learn the material and it's exactly what I need to know to get me through the exam. So the question bank that I'm using is UWorld, which many others use. I think it's a great tool because you can track your progress, you can see why questions were right and why were wrong. Like the explanations at the end are really, really good, so I think that that is a great thing for question banks. Of course, no step one preparation would be complete without using first aid. The first thing I did when I got my massive book is I split it up into three different books, which I think is great because then when I was studying a specific section and going to the library, I didn't have to cart around that massive uh, hunk of a textbook with me and I could save my back a little bit of pain. So here's the first section of the book. It's basically all the front parts, all the basic science. It's biochem, immunology, microbiology, pathology, pharmacology, and public health. This section is the second section. It's GI, hemonc, MSK, neuro, psych, reproductive, and the rapid review section. This is the last section. It's the smallest one. It's cardio, renal, resp, and endo. I was really fortunate enough to have a student two years older than me, shout out to Johnny, and he shared with me his first aid book that he'd used. He really heavily annotated it, put in tons of notes from Pathoma, UWorld, other resources, class notes, things like that. And so it's a super comprehensive overview. What I do when I study is I have my first aid open, his, and then Pathoma or what other resource and I kind of copy in all the notes. So the idea is the last couple weeks before the exam, I could just use my first aid book and it should be pretty chocked full with all this other information and it'll mean that I only have to review one resource in the weeks leading up to the exam, which for me is just perfect because I think I'll get really overwhelmed if I'm trying to juggle too many different things. So yeah, that's all I'm using to help me study. It's pretty bare. I'm trying to keep things really simple in my preparation and not overwhelm myself as best I can. If you have any questions about the things that I'm using or why I've chosen them, or if you have any advice on things maybe I could be using or other students, then feel free to comment them down below. I'd love to hear 
hear from you. I'm really looking forward to making more videos and connecting with more of you. I've had a lot of fun with that over on Instagram so far. There's so many incredible, inspiring medical students and pre-meds around the world. So I'm excited to keep this dialogue going. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message over on Instagram or comment them down below. Hope you enjoy the sunshine today. I'm gonna go out and try to enjoy what's left of this day. Thank you.